Welcome back to the channel. Here we have a new repair job in our workshop. It is a 2013 Seat Ibiza. It has a 1.6 TDI engine. Klein complained about the light that came up on the instrument cluster or dash depending on how you want to call it. Actually, it was the check engine light that showed up and not the glow plug light as seen here. As I previously had a connector test ongoing that I sadly forgot to record. As you already know from the title and the description of this clip, we have here a EGR problem, a very common issue on this Kike engine codes. Throughout the entire video, there is a live narration as it happened. This work process is divided in three parts. So here is part one of the EGR replacement on this car. So please enjoy watching and you've been entertained by this kind of labor, subscribe and like for more. Here is our problem, EGR valve N18 malfunction, error code P0403. For this error code I decided to replace the EGR valve. Some of the recorded sequences are playing at normal speed, but for the other ones I decided to run them on fast forward. Throughout this video I didn't insert any music or background sound. There is only the natural audio that was recorded. Please leave a message in the comment sections on how you find it pleasant, with or without background entertainment. Looking for the EGR, you can barely see anything. It's right on the back side of the engine. It will be interesting in replacing it, as there are a lot of parts that will need to be removed and to put back together. We need to remove the catalytic converter first <coughs> with a continuation of the exhaust pipe so we have more room to work on. So we need to remove this clamp right here and here is, is a 5 mm Allen. Let's put it closer so you can see. Hopefully, but let's see if I have enough space or room to remove it. It looks like 
No. have enough room let's see let's try with a small ratchet again with a five millimeter I don't want to remove the oxygen sensor, but if I need to, I'll do it. forward and remove it completely a little bit <coughs> that's it does it come off okay yes only with the only with the bolt I think it's completely off. Yes. Yes. This was the bolt. It's stuck. Yes. It doesn't move. I need to pry it. Let's see how it From the heat, it just nearly doesn't melt together, but it actually melts itself a little bit from corrosion. I need to pry off also that. Let's see if I can reach it. Here we go. It's nearly off. Yes. Here we go. Another step. Yes. I like it. Some wires in harness. DPF. Okay. So now we need to unbolt it from the bottom. So auto sensor goes here. Okay, and pressure sensor also here. And I need to unplug this. this
we recover it? No. It's easier to cut. Slowly. But surely. Uh -huh. Okay. One. This is actually the first one. This is from the pressure sensor. Oh no, no, no. It's the actual auto sensor, yes. Okay, auto sensor. Let's put it here. Take it off. Okay. One done. And the signal is the dark red. Blood red or brown, nearly brown. Okay, also unplugged. Put this one together. Okay. Come on, my friend. Stay here. Just stay here. Okay. Perfect, perfect match. The other ones, I don't think we have any problems here. At least for the moment. We'll see. Well, let's pause and get under the car. Lift it. And then get under. Now let's see. Managed to do something with these nuts. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like it. Mm. Oh. Let's see if this one works. No, this one not. What about this one? Yes. 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 Okay. This Good. No. No chance. We need to cut it. <laughs> Some customers don't understand that things like this can happen. So, when they ask why, well, it's because of rust. Rust is very unfriendly. No, but it Great job, thank you. Okay. It was easy, easy. Mm -hmm. There's no way you cut something and you don't use a hand. It's a must. Yes. 
Now we need to unscrew some more bolts. Let me show you. Okay, these two bolts hold in this protection. Okay, and the other two bolts or other four bolts are holding. Okay, now here we need some 13 or 13 millimeter nuts, and these are 16. If I'm not wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Let me see how I will how I manage to set up the camera so you can see. what I'm doing, but at the same time I need space I need room to work you want to see, but I want to work let me see, hopefully hopefully it's good for both, the both of us so let's try 16 millimeter. yes yes I told you it's 16 millimeter. yeah it is Okay, 16. Focus, focus. Oh. Nearly fell off. Up. Oh. my hands. Perfect. That was easy. Okay. Okay. More like a hit. So let's untighten them. Is it hurting? Yes. Another great guess. Okay, so let's move them off. Do we have six? Yes! It's a beautiful song, yes. I'll do the Windows error sound on this one. And again, this one too. Yes, it doesn't move. Yes, a little bit, but I'll remove also the uh, another two bolts, also 13 millimeter. We put a lot. Oh, I don't see it. Wait. Yes. Hopefully, camera doesn't. Okay. Let me do it like this. Okay. Okay. We put. Okay, all over. Aluminium. My magnet doesn't hold. Oh, light, please don't fall off. You're expensive. It's a nice light to work. Oh, yes. It's like in the nightclub. Let's see. Okay. Yes, good. So, let me take the car down. We have another bolt right up there. I need to lower the car again. And to unbolt, I didn't see it. Yes, it's up there. There's another bolt up there. Okay. Okay, well, let me show you. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Just wait. Yes. Wait, come on. And here is the unbolt, 13 millimeter. Let's remove this one too. Yes. Take the bolt off. Okay. Here's the bolt. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. I'll put it together here with other balls. Yes, so we don't need to search them. Also, the ones that I cut off from this exhaust bracket. Okay. Now, it should be loose. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. Ooh, too much light. Okay, lift the car back up and take the exhaust off. So oh, here we go again. Right here, so. So here's the thing I want to tell you from the beginning, but I've waited until this moment. So everyone says, oh, it's easy to remove. Well, it's easy to remove, but not to remove the old parts from the car. Well, how are we going to take this catalytic converter off? Well, well, well. Uh, you need to remove the subframe because you have not enough room or space so my plan sounds like this i try to remove this right axle transmission axle you need to remove the subframe steering column that's on it and everything else so let's see let's try Thirty-six millimeter. Error sound. Huh. This little fellow up and running. Perfect. Oh, problem. Problem, problem, problem. I need to keep the ball joint rest so the joint doesn't turn while I'm unwinding. Is Let's see if it works. It should work. <laughs> Done. New one. 
Of course, but it's very stiff. So we need to unscrew also these bolts. I didn't want to. Well, the car doesn't have very much kilometers or miles, but it's, it stands a lot. And that's why it has a lot of rust. With light, it's better. Now we're gonna go unscrew the bolts completely off. We did untighten them earlier, so. so this axle can be removed. Well, this axle joint is attached directly to the gearbox okay before it was easier to turn at the the wheel the wheels was still on now I'm turning by the axle it's a bit okay I just need to take it off. Slide it right out. Okay, let me move the camera. Okay. Yes. So you can see how it comes out. Okay. Here all the walls. Sometimes they fall off, but well, sometimes they don't. Okay. Okay. This one needs to remove. Stay here. Oh, it needs cleaned up. See how much rust it does have? Update. So here's the thing. We need to get the subframe off. <laughs> Steering rack remains on the car we just unbolt it from the sum frame from here here and here and here rack. on this side too and you're gonna move the camera all the way Remove first the bolt. 
let's see how this bolt is going to And this one too. There was no other way, I just had to cut it down. Forgot about to hit the record button on the camera. Oh, nice and rusty. This one is clean. I'll check the, ang the camera angle just a little bit later. Yes. Let me bring my little helper, helper right up here. You will manage to do something. Something like this. Yes, very nice, nice, yes. I didn't manage to record the one from the left side. Yes, it unbolted very easy. I forgot to put it on record. Yes, I wanted to save some battery and some space, as it takes a lot of space for recording. They're gonna change it also with new ones. Maybe also some bushings from the control arm. Just the bushings, not the entire control arm. If the bushings are bad, we don't lose time with bushing. Maybe the ball joint has a little play and you don't see it. And after a few months, you need also the ball joint. So we remove and install only complete control arm. It's bad also for us and also for the client. Easy. This one just got bent. Remove it. Bent. New one. You don't see much again from the light from the outside. Okay, let's put it like this. Okay. So a little bit. Okay, a little bit. And. Sometimes these bolts are different in length. It's better to check it. Okay. Oh, the Lord. Okay. But slowly unbolt. So frame. But now the semi rusted bolt. This one has more rust. Ooh, yes. Yes, steering column needs to tighten up. Okay, yes. Yep. Free. 
I just unplugged it and left the hoses on it. I just forgot about it. Okay. Let's see if we can try to get this pipe around. Yes. And here we go. So this is it. So pressure sensor. This is for the differential pressure sensor. So measures here. Okay, one, two. This is after the exhaust. This is before. And this is a mix. Okay, close up and put some light. Yes. Ah, here we have the part number. It's a mix of, if i not wrong, a catalytic converter with a DPF. Let's see how it looks. Aha! This is our main problem. That's what's causing the error. Some leaks also over here. Yes. Okay. Not bad at all. Engine has no leaks at all. It also shouldn't have with, with this mileage or with these kilometers I repeat I think it was around 144 kilometers thousand kilometers that would be around uh, 19,000 miles something like that okay we need to put the steering rack back up so there is no pressure we use some of these flexible hinges I don't know how to name them to hook up parts Just this way, bro. Let's go over the Thanks, left transmission axle. Okay, it was on. Nothing to worry about. Suffering is off. You don't know if you see it. Oh no, you don't see it. Okay. Let me put it. No. Yes. And this is it. Now we'll take it off. Here it is. Yes. Doing some work now. the car looks just not like this. Okay. No problem with the steering rack. We're gonna unbolt it, remove it tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow is another day. Enough for today. We're gonna change them, put them new. Okay. Yes. Now I have to clean up for tomorrow, but this will be the end of this part. And in the next part, maybe number two, you will see the removal of the exhaust gas recirculation system with its cooler, all integrated in one piece. So, uh, see you next time, and God bless.